Welcome. In this module, we'll talk about security hardening and we'll talk about manual and automated work for security hardening and where we use manual work and where we can get some help from automated tools. So uh, let's take a look at the manual and automated mechanisms for security hardening and for validation. And validation, we mean checking that the uh, security, the system that we are talking about in which we applied the controls, uh, is that actually hardened as per our expectation or not? And this is the eight step security hardening methodology that we've been talking about in this course. And it has uh, eight steps, which we consistently use irrespective of what the IT asset is. Now, step one, for manual and automated work in security hardening is scan an IT asset using Qualys, uh, excellent tool, uh, compliance scan, Qualys compliance scan, Nessus compliance scan, or CIS CAT Pro tool, and you can search these tools on the web. And many times there are free of cost, uh, limited versions of these tools which are available, and you should certainly try those out. And acquire the report of the failed control. So scan, you know, get this tool, uh, download this tool from the internet, Scan your IT asset using Qualys Compliance Scan, not the vulnerability scan, but the compliance scan, and compliance against what? Against the CIS top 20, uh, against, for example, the CIS benchmark, or the DISA uh, STIG, uh, Security Technical Information Guide, or some other um, uh, compliance scan, right? And it can also be the OWASP top 10 scan or any other type of uh, benchmark uh, against where, where we're going to perform a compliance scan. Acquire the report of failed controls. So. Basically, what we're saying here is that if we want to secure Windows Server 2012 R2, first uh, get the uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 image, um, uh, you know, and, and now we're going to harden this instance of Windows Server 2012 R2. Pick up a compliance scanner like Qualys Compliance Scan, scan the asset, and it'll tell you which controls uh, for Windows Server 2012 R2 CIS security benchmark uh, against that security benchmark, which controls are failed. So if there are 400 controls, the scan would should tell you in a, in a report that you have 150 controls which have passed and you have 250 controls out of the 400 which have failed. So now we should go specifically to the 250 controls that have failed. We'll have to, we'll, we'll have to open the um, security benchmark document, download it from CIS website for Windows Server 2012 R2, Look at the reference number for the failed controls, find them, read, and implement the control on Active Directory uh, or manually as you wish and uh, implement the control. And that's how you implement step number one. Now, step two, apply the failed controls using Active Directory for Windows or manually for other systems and devices. So you, now you're applying the control which you had found that certain number of control, let's say control number 87, using the Qualys compliance scan or the Nessus scan that uh, control number 87 in the document was, was showing fail. So you will pick up uh, that section from the, from the security benchmark and you will implement that control um, using the administration interface. And this is uh, step number two, applying the actual controls so that we can fix uh, those controls which were showing as failed status. Step three. Use the automated feature of uh, Qualys uh, Compliance Scan, Nessus Compliance Scan, or CIS CAT Pro tool to now again verify that the applied control is in place. So now we started off with a scan, found the failed controls, we fixed those failed controls, and then we do another scan to make sure that now if you have applied um, out of the 250 controls that had, were showing as fail, you have applied or fixed 200 controls, then now you should, when you run the scan, you should only get 50 balance controls, which, are, which should fail. And you need, to, you need to check this through the automated scanner. Compare the before, before you apply the controls, and after you apply the controls, and that should uh, be a validation check for you. Manually verify if any discrepancy is found, if the control uh, should be in place but not being validated by the tool. Sometimes there are some false uh, negatives or false positives, and uh, you should uh, check some of these to make sure that the tool is not misreporting. Step five, for any system or device for which the Qualys Compliance Scan, Nessus Compliance Scan, or CIS CAT Pro tool scan cannot be performed, conduct the validation of the control implementation manually. Now, this is where the manual work comes in because we don't have, uh, the scanner is not able to scan a particular asset um, because of the limitation of the tool, for example, 
if we, if we cannot run the automated scanner to find out which controls of a particular belonging to a particular benchmark like CIS or DISA or OWASP, uh, if we cannot find uh, the tool to be able to do that, then you have to do the validation manually. You have to do the check manually. Use sampling where necessary during manual validation work to reduce the workload because there's hundreds of controls on one asset, for example, and then thousands of uh, controls on multiple assets. You, you have a whole IT infrastructure and you can use sampling very intelligently. You can use 10%, 15%, 20% of control on a particular asset. For example, 15 to 20% of assets may be checked at random or 15 to 20% of controls may be checked on an asset. So there are two ways to do this. Uh, you, can, you can choose if there are, let's say, 100 servers of uh, Windows Server 2012, then you can either choose controls number 50 to 100, control numbers 50 to 100 on all the servers, and you can choose the servers randomly and check that controls number 50 to 100, are they applied, because now we're doing manual work, are they applied on all the servers? Or what you can also do is you can select uh, a specific number of servers and on server number one, check controls one to 20. On server number two, check controls 21 to 39 or 21 to 40. On server number three, check controls 41 to 59. And you can move on that way so that when you go through the sampling exercise, all your controls are going to be looked at. So these are different sampling mechanisms uh, when we're doing manual validation. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.